Hi, yes, it's LED panel lighting time again because, well, you can never have too much light for a video, YouTube video studio. Anyway, I need a whole bunch of new panels, like 10 or 12 uh, new LED ceiling light panels for my new slash old lab. So I want to replace the ones that I've got at the moment, which are, which were, did come from the old lab. I transferred them over to the new lab, well the current lab here, and they're these uh, 60 watt jobs, I've actually done uh, videos on those, and they're, uh, they've been okay, but they weren't really highly specified in terms of uh, CRI, or color rendering index, they were just like greater than 80, and they were 60 watts, so like really phenomenal uh, output for the time. Anyway, um, yeah, I wanted something because the LED panel lights overhead do constitute the bulk of the light that I use for shooting videos. Even though I do have uh, studio lights, I've got these nice little uh, aperture uh, ones here. Um, uh, these are Amaran uh, HR67 uh, 2Cs for those playing along at home, and they've got phenomenal CRI, like 98 or something. Anyway, really nice little lights, and I, I've got two of those, and I use those for like, uh, like you know, just putting near the content that I'm filming. I never used to do this. I only started doing it recently in the last year or two, putting it near the content just to provide extra real high CRI light and color rendering index, high CRI figure. I mean, hundreds ideal, you know, crappy LED panels will give you 80. Really good ones will give you 90 plus. And that means you get more accurate color rendition from your video. But like colors will come out um, better and stronger in products that you're actually filming. So high CRI. I uh, LED lighting is really important for videography and for like photo shoots and you know all sorts of uh, you know professional modeling photo shoots and stuff like that and I've actually got these uh, two of these uh, big ones as well which actually take four of these um, yes everyone mentions U UG LEDs and uh, yeah these are actually uh, high CRI uh, they're called corn because they look like a corn of cob, you know, a corn cob. Um, anyway, I've got a bunch of these um, as well. I've got four of these per one of those lights and they're for like bigger flood fill applications. I don't normally use those for just a regular uh, photo shoot. So, uh, and the thing is, I've got to match the color temperature of all these. I use typically uh, 5,000 Kelvin. So I've got, you know, uh, both the uh, Amaran's they're 5,000 K, although they're adjustable, but I set them to 5,000. These are 5,000 as well. So I had to actually find a 5,000 Kelvin color temperature panel and I've bought several over the years even though they've advertised as 5k when you actually measure them they're not 5k so I hope these are 5k it was actually really difficult to find a lead ceiling panel a it's already difficult enough to find a lead ceiling panel that's 5000k either they're like 4000k or they're 6000k 5000 is kind of like an oddball value for ceiling lead panel light so that's hard enough but then on top of that i wanted a cri greater than 90 so it was next to impossible to find these but i did find finally found a local supplier called vibe lighting and these are the panels that I've got. So I've got two of them just to try them out. If they work, I'm going to get uh, more of them and fit out the entire lab with them. They're only 40 watt jobbies as opposed to 60 watts I've got at the moment. They're not the best efficiency. I think they're 95, 92 lumens per watt or something. So they're not going to set the world on fire in terms of efficiency, but I couldn't give a rat's ass about that. I care about uh, the color rendering index um, and, be, and the color temperature being correct. And also these are uh, low glare panels as well, UGR. And the UGR here stands for uh, Unified Glare Rating, and it's less than 19. This is a value that goes between 0 and 40 is the maximum, I believe, and like really crap ones will be like 30 to 40. Really good ones will be sub 19. And for some, you know, really ultra niche type stuff, you might need like less than 12 or something like that. There's a lower uh, figure, but generally this is a low glare panel. So that will help with glare on products and just around the lab and fatigue on the eyes and and stuff like that so anyway so yeah so these are the vb lfp 312-1 5k 90 5k is five in color temperature 90 is the cri and they've got a cri claimed greater than 
90. So these um, look and sound very good on paper. So I just hope that they um, like actually give me my 5,000 roughly. I just don't want them to be a horrible 6,000 or six and a half. I bought a 5,000 uh, K one once and I measured it like 6,800. Bloody ridiculous. Anyway, can't trust anything. Um, and I also specified flicker free drivers. I don't know about uh, this one, MGL, I got no idea, haven't seen them before, but these are supposed to be uh, flicker free as well. So these were uh, provided with the panel. So. Yep, um, I'm, they look like decent uh, look and feel, you know, the vibe, ha, get it, I'm here all week, vibe, vibe lighting, you know, the vibe from the castle. If you haven't watched the movie, watch the castle, and none of that US rubbish where they changed all the words in it to bloody keep the Yanks happy, ah, bugger that. Just the vibe of the thing, it's all part of it, this is what I'm getting at, that's my point, it's the, it's the vibe of it. It, it, it's just the vibe of it. In summing up, it's the vibe and, uh, no, that's it, it's the vibe. I rest my case. Anyway, castle. So it's uh, the vibe of these things, they feel really good. So I'm going to plug them in uh, and measure the colour temperature. And that's them on. They've got this really funky knurled pattern on them, for want of a better term. That sort of, maybe that has something to do with the glare. Um, aspect, the low glare ratio. Anyway, I really like the boy, look and feel of that. I'm not sure how that's showing up on camera, but it really is quite nice. Okay, sorry for the crudity of this video, but I have to turn my main studio lights off to get an accurate colour balance. I've got my white balance uh, card, I've got my old Canon camera, which I don't use anymore, but it's good for measuring, and I'll measure the set the white balance on it, and 4900 K, it, the first time I did it, gave me 5,000. So consider that bang on, awesome. And I'll just uh, change the shutter speed all over the shot. That's 10,000, 6,000, 4,000. See if there's any flicker on this 2,000. Nope, uh, let me know in the comments down below if you're playing along at home. But I don't see any uh, 250, 180. I don't see any flicker from those at all. So that's a winner winner, chicken dinner. So there you go. Yep, I'm really happy with those. I'm going to uh, <laughs> well, take them over to the uh, old lab and uh, figure out exactly how many I need, what arrangement and stuff like that. Um, the same with here. I've got like a, oh, well, the old lab I had like a remote controller. We'll do again so that I don't need all the lights on all the time. So I'll switch like half of them on, like just during normal day-to-day -day office uh, stuff. Then when I'm shooting videos, then I switch on like a double the number of uh, panels that I've got. Doesn't mean I still don't have to like, um, you you know, benefit from some fuel lights uh, like this because, um, yeah, anyway, I'll do another video um, when I actually install the new panels on the in the uh, new slash old lab. Still don't know what to call it. Anyway, uh, lab 2.0, somebody suggested. <laughs> Sounds all right. Um, so, yeah, awesome. Uh, they took a lot of finding. I cannot believe how much um, effort I went to to uh, find decent panels like this that had the correct color temperature, the correct CRI, the high CRI, and the low glare um, stuff as well. But these things, um, I think they, they really seem to do the business. And the vibe is, uh, is really quite good. They look and feel quite good. So, yeah. Um, I didn't care which format I got, whether or not it was the 1200 by 300 like this or the 600 by 600 uh, square ones. So they, I think these are available actually in both, but they had more of these um, in stock. So I got the uh, long one. So yeah, I'm going to think I'll uh, put it in order. If you want to know uh, the price, tell us the price, son. Uh, I think they were 82 Aussie bucks each, um, including the uh, drivers. So that's um, that's pretty good. I think I paid the same for my um, those old square imported ones I'm currently uh, using. But I ordered those, you know, way back in the day. Things have gotten cheaper. Oh, by the way, the LEDs in these, I believe they're Epistar ones. So, yeah, um, they're, you know, they're selected for correct, correct uh, CRI and all that sort of stuff. So I don't know, do they bin them or do they specifically uh, manufacture them differently for the high CRI? If anyone knows, please leave it in the comments. Oh, all right, because I won't hear the end of it um, unless I actually <laughs> tear this down. Let's have a squeeze here. That looks nicely sparsely populated. Large amount of output uh, capacitance there. We've got two of them. So that's a winner-winner chicken dinner. So 
let's uh, for those really playing along at home there you go there's a transformer part number and uh, it's I got a little bit of celestic gunk down in there not sure why they bothered anyway little input um, fuse there that's quite nice common mode choke filter in all the requisite stuff here's our bridge rectifier four surface mount jobbies uh, wow there's a whole bunch of resistors all in parallel there is that a uh, sense resistor wow i can't read that value from here but geez anyway uh primary side uh controller there nice um isolation there no wackers and on the secondary side it looks like it does have secondary side uh control as well secondary side regulation so that's nice beautiful so yeah um that is that seems pretty decent quality i don't know about the caps a y min i uh, don't think i've seen those before anyway um yeah they are 105 degrees c rated but there you go that looks not too shabby i'm not going to bother to uh measure it because i've already measured it with the camera and uh it doesn't seem to flicker at all so the uh waveform it's pretty moot there you go oh new panels <laughs> i'm thrilled you don't know how hard it is and what a pain in the ass and what a shit market it is to try and buy panels you buy the some one hung low brand you, you just it's it's just potluck really is but uh, i was pretty confident about these ones and they delivered so winner winner chicken dinner comments down below catch you next time Hello.